types of market, right? This is what I use um, on a broad basis, right? To classify the types of market that we have. So on, on the left hand side over here, you can see that we have strong trend and then a weak trend. And then on the X axis, on the horizontal axis, you have low volatility and high volatility. So what I do is I always classify the markets into these four types. And type one, right, is the most favorite type of market. And I classify volatility very differently from uh, what most people does. In a sense, I, I look at volatility in, this, um, in the corrective movement, how deep the pullback is as compared to where most people, right, when they look at volatility, they are looking at the average true range ATR. Okay, so in this case, uh, you can see type one has a very strong trend. That means the direction is definitely up and then you have very low or very shallow pullback. And this by far is the easiest type of market for us to trade. Then you have the type two, which is still trending. And this trend can be uptrend or downtrend. Uh, and type two market has very high volatility. That means your swing points is very wild and very deep pullback instead of uh, the shallow pullback that we are seeing in type one then that's where uh, in these two types of market, usually you can apply any sort of direction strategies like swing trades, like position trades. It would work well because there is a trend. So the tough part comes right when the market or the security that you are trading goes into this type three or four market. So in this type three market, it is where there is no trend at all. So largely it is just going sideways and type three is the very kind, it is that kind of weak trend and yet low volatility. That means it is tight range bound and everything is just stuck within this uh, a support zone and then a resistance zone, all right? And that's type three, which is not very common, but we tend to see it from time to time. 